It's just so perfect. Can I describe such perfection? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Hannah and you are watching Story Nut. Today I come to you with a... Um, hmm, I come to you not knowing how to speak. <laughs> Today I come to you with a movie review, which is not something that I've done before in this channel, but I'm super excited about it. Yay! Um, the movie that I'm reviewing is not a new movie or anything, it's just a movie that I just saw and I couldn't stop thinking about it or tweeting about it. If you were following me on Twitter while I was watching this movie, you probably saw a bunch of tweets about it. Um, but yeah, it's a movie that really, really struck a chord with me. Um, basically, uh, I'll give you the deets of the movie. Deets, I just said that. N we're not gonna question it. So, um, I just saw Liberal Arts, which is a film that came out in 2012. It was written and directed and starring Josh Radner from How I Met Your Mother, Ted. Um, and it was fantastic. <laughs> five out of five stars from me. Um, I just, oh my god, I love this movie so much, you guys. It was, it gave me so many feels and just, it was perfect. Um. And the reason that it was perfect kind of comes down to four things, themes that the movie kind of um, explored. And I'm going to talk about those in a minute. But for now, let me just tell you a quick rundown of what the movie is about. So basically, uh, the movie is about Josh Radner, who is um, a graduate from this college um, in Ohio. And he's been working in admissions in a university in New York. And it's kind of been, you know, run of the mill, kind of getting run down by life type of thing. And he gets invited to his favorite professor's um, retirement party thing, where he meets um, a 19-year-old sophomore at the university, and they kind of click. And so um, it just kind of explores both of their lives and the idea of a relationship between them with such a big um, age gap. And yeah, but that's kind of like the um, trailer version of the movie. The reason I loved it so much is because it was so much more than that. Um, and so now I'm going to go into the four reasons why I love this movie so much. So the first reason is the most obvious one, which um, is what the movie's about, which is it explores the idea of a relationship between with, when the two people have such a huge um, age gap between them. Um, so our main pro female protagonist is Elizabeth Olsen's character, Zibi. And our um, the male protagonist is Josh Radner's Jesse. And Zibi and Jesse uh, meet at this dinner thing. And so they just kind of connect really well. But she's 19 and he's 35. And this whole idea about how they can make that relationship work is quite interesting. And also the reasons why they're pursuing this relationship, especially um, in terms of Zibi's character's motivation. So Zibi is 19. She says that she doesn't think that any of the guys around her age is really getting her and that the only person that she can feel connected with is um, Jesse, who's way, way older than her. And an interesting aspect of that part of the movie was how um, it's kind of questionable whether Zibi actually cares about Jesse himself or about the idea of being with someone much older, making her grow as a person. So there's this whole um, debate. There's also the whole um, like morality aspect of it, which is what troubles Jesse's character a lot. Um, that's Josh Radner. Um, he feels uncomfortable, obviously, dating someone so young. Um, and I thought it, the movie handles it so very well. And that part of it was so kind of perfect for what's been going on around YouTube, in my opinion, lately. So although Zibi was 19, so she's not a minor anymore, there's still that big age gap. And there's this whole idea of, you know, what if someone is interested in me anyway, even though she's way younger? Is it still okay to be with that person? And so there's that whole debate. I'm not going to tell you how it ends or how, what happens, but just know that um, the movie handles it really, really well. The second reason that I loved this movie so much, it explores the idea that of transition. So we people are always transitioning, right? And so it explores it in different ages. So we've got um, Josh Radner's character, Jesse, who is already done transitioning and is kind of like supposed to be an adult, right? And he's like got his life figured out. He's got a job. 
and everything and so he's technically supposed to be an adult but he feels so nostalgic when he goes back to the university and he's like I want to go back to that and then we've got the character of the professor who is retiring and how he suddenly gets these like doubts about retiring does he want to retire but it's kind of too late now so there's that aspect of it and then there is the like millennial problem in my opinion if you're a 20 something you've experienced this where you just graduated and you have no idea what to do and that's kind of something that spoke to me personally because i just graduated in june and it's just been scary you know being in the real world and so there's just this whole idea about our memories of university and our time in university are they actual happy memories or are we just kind of giving them a rosy glow and when we look back in the past, do we do that? Like, we tend to do that. We tend to give it a rosy glow. So the movie kind of explores that idea very well. Um, and there's a line in it that was just so perfect. And and it was by the professor character where he says to Jesse's character, um, no one feels like an adult. That's life's big, dirtiest secret. And it's just such a perfect line and such a wonderful way to sum up life really it was just so perfect you know no one feels like an adult so that part of it was very very relevant to my life and if you are 20 something and you're going through a turbulent time i would suggest watching this movie because it's pretty awesome um and the third and fourth reason kind of go hand in hand in my opinion so the third reason i love this movie so much is because there's a segment where um jesse find this book on Zibi's um, shelf and it's called Lunar Moon but it's so obviously just an alternate version of Twilight and he's appalled that someone who seems so smart and clever would read this book genuinely like without like being ironic or anything and he's like are you being ironic is this just a joke it's like no I actually like it and so there's this whole discussion about why you should read and what kind of books to read and Jesse's like, you don't have to like a book to read it. Liking a book is not a good enough reason to read it. And um, at which point Zibby's character gives him the best side eye ever. And she's like, really? Really? <laughs> so there's that whole idea of, you know, why should you read and what kinds of books to read and whether you should look down on certain books or not. And I love that aspect of it a lot because it's such a perfect discussion and it's just so wonderful. Um, and then going along with the book theme another aspect of this movie that i loved is the discussion about um if we can live inside a book too much so you know how there's this quote about how readers live a thousand lives and i love that quote i think it's perfect but i think there is a real danger that readers have of living a thousand lives but never living our own lives and so there's a character in this movie who says that she's been trying to read less books because she wants to live her own life because she feels like she's just living the lives of the characters. And that is such an interesting like way of looking at things because we tend to do that sometimes, you know. We'll read so much and we'll focus so much on living the lives of these characters that we'll sometimes kind of ignore our own lives, which is not very healthy probably. <laughs> Um, I could probably go on more because this movie's just kind of really, really affected me for some reason. I don't know. Um, for these four reasons that I just explained, actually. So, um, yeah, you should watch it. If you want one more reason to watch it, Zac Efron's in it. And he is um, a hippie, homeless hippie, who has really, really good, inspiring life quotes. Zac Efron. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, so I'll put the trailer and all the links for the movie down below. Feel free to check it out. Please let me know if you've already seen it and if you thought it's as amazing as I think it is. Um, or if you hated it or whatever. Um, tell me why you hated it. And yeah. Tell me if you've experienced this before. I actually didn't plan to see this movie or hadn't even heard of it before. But I was looking through trailers and I was just like, yeah, this looks cool and I'll watch it. And I just fell in love with it. So has that ever happened to you? Tell me. And I will see you guys in my next video.